Domino here. Welcome to the first episode on the Discord.py bot coding tutorial where we'll be coding a Discord bot using Python. A quick update is that if you have well, seen my quick update video, you will know that I no longer do the Discord.js bot coding tutorial series and will be taken over by someone else. And I'll be starting Discord.py tutorials and uh, all the Python tutorials as well. So, um, also a disclaimer is that if there's any code that any of my code that resembles any other YouTubers, it's purely coincidental. I have not seen any Discord.py tutorials out there. I've been learning purely through this documentation and through the example codes that has been given here. And again, if there's any code that is, uh, resembles anyone else's, then again, it's either purely coincidental or we both use the example code that has been given in the official GitHub page right here, which is just doesn't seem to be wanting to load. But yeah. So um, with, with that out of the way, let's get started. So we will be covering Discord Pi the documentation a little bit because it, Discord Pi is slightly more complicated than Discord JS. And the thing is, uh, in my Discord.js tutorial, I usually just have the Discord.js documentation sitting there in the background and never using it. So we're actually going to be using this quite a bit. So uh, I'm going to quickly go go through how I use uh, the documentation, like really briefly. So I'm just going to go ahead. What I do is just go down here, scroll down, and click on API reference, open in a do tab, and then scroll down here and click on API reference. And these two pages are what I absolutely need to use every single time where I code a bot. And for example, here we can have our embed, activity, streaming, permissions, all that. Everything is listed here. Anything you need about Discord is listed here. And this is for purely commands and set up cogs and quite a lot of things. So I actually both of these pages are really important to have. So that's why I have both of these pages open like almost always. So that out of the way, let's move on to the GitHub page where we're going to go ahead and find the install commands. This is the commands you're going to need to run if you're installing it on Windows. And if you're on Linux or Mac OS, then use this command. Uh, just simply copy it, paste it into your PowerShell or command prompt. If you don't know how to open either, just a uh, window key plus R to open run or Cortana and then run and then type in PowerShell or CMD, whichever you want. Or alternatively, you can just go to the folder, to any folder, right click, open PowerShell or command prompt window here. That's really simple, right? So that's that out of the way. And yeah, now we're gonna go ahead and create our bot. So what we need to do here is go over to this link here, uh, which is developer slash applications. We're gonna go ahead and click on new application. Uh, we're gonna create a tutorial bot. I uh, already have it here because this is not my first take. I lost the audio to my first uh, recording session, so I'm redoing this. So, um, what we have here is you can create, you can go ahead and add in your an icon, your profile picture to the bot if you so wish. But I'm not going to do that right now because I rather slow internet, so it's going to take a while to upload. So uh, we will need the client ID in a moment. We're just going to ignore that for now. A client secret, we don't need that whatsoever. What we need is click on bot on the left hand side panel. Click on add bot and yes, do it to create a bot. Now, again, you can add a profile picture, but what we need here is the token, which again, we'll be, com we will be com coming back to in a moment. We don't need any of these. What we need is come over to here. Now the permissions uh, permissions integer here, you can just go ahead and click administrator and copy this and put this on eight, like right here. I already have some random numbers there. I'm not even sure what these numbers are for. I got this somewhere on a uh, permission generator somewhere on uh, online. I forgot which, but if you go to the discord.js tutorial, I'm pretty sure you'll find what the site is. Anyways, um, you can just go ahead and copy and paste this eight here if you don't want to use this whatever number this is. But this is basically granting every single permissions there are. Uh, yeah, they, they, there you go. Uh, it's literally every single permissions there are, and it's just I guess that's what all these numbers are. When well, you can just simply just click on administrator and get the eight. But anyways, I'm just gonna use this anyway. Uh, if you need this URL, it's in the description. Uh, what we will need is go back to general information here is uh, copy this client ID 
And as you can see, we have a client ID placeholder here. What we need to do is simply just replace it with your, your boss's client ID and then just press enter and you will be redirected to the authorization page. And you just click on select the server, select your testing server. You have to be an administrator. Well, not, you don't need to be a testing server. You can just put this on any server where you're administrator, where you are actually an administrator on. So click on it and authorize and make sure you're not a bot by clicking this and there you go. Uh, it's been authorized. If we go here, we can see that a tutorial bot Python has been added to our Discord server. So let's get with the coding. Let's get started with the coding. So uh, we have, as you can see, I've created a folder on my desktop uh, called Python tutorials discord.py. Make sure you create, you don't have to be the exact same uh, thing but um, just make sure you create everything in a folder just for organization purposes. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a file and we're gonna name this main.py. Now if you, can, you can name this whatever you want, like index.py if you so wish. But anyways, uh, what we need is import discord and we're also going to need to from discord.ext, if I can actually spell, import um, commands. Now, this, now discord is basically this here. Uh, right, so this core is basically going to get everything that is here, including the client. But we're not going to be using the client because we're going to be using this, where we're going to be using a bot. Now, they are pr practically the same thing, but except that the bot here actually allows you to use cogs, which is more useful. So uh, here you will be basically doing discord.js things where you just have to use the message event and separate arguments and all that. I'm not a fan of doing that, so I'm just going to simply use the cogs here, um, just way simpler, which is the uh, discord.ext command. So if we go back to our Sublime text, again, uh, by the way, I'm using temporarily Sublime text. I will be switching over to either VSC or Atom or any other uh, edit, text editor. Uh, later on, but right now VSC is really laggy for me, so that's why I'm using Sublime Text as a temporary method um, solution right now. So, uh, so I'm just going to use this. Anyways, uh, once we have imported this, uh, we just need to create our client now. And I'm going to be doing object oriented, so pretty much everything is going to be in a class instead of simply bot commands dot bot and then just do all that. So I'm pretty sure what, that's what most tutorials are, anyways. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a class called client which is going to inherit the class of commands adopt bot. Now, the reason why I want this everything to be object oriented is just because it's way more useful and I don't have to import the same thing like multiple times. It just simplify my life a lot. So anyways, I'm going to have, uh, uh, we're gonna inherit the commands of bot. If we're gonna go ahead and do def init, which is gonna be a constructor, we're gonna have to have self and we're gonna need command prefix. Right, and then we're going to need to do super init command prefix. So, or if you don't want to use this, you can do commands dot bot dot init self command prefix, but it just doesn't feel right. So I'm just going to use the super keyword because it's there for for use. So, uh, if you honestly right now, I am just really going through this really quickly because I'm just assuming that you know at least some basic Python knowledge. So anyways, um, we have that set up. What we need here is we're going to need main if, sorry, if dunder name equals to string dunder main, we're just going to create a client, a, an instance of the client. I'm going to pass in the argument here, which is for our prefix. And we're gonna have an exclamation mark as our command prefix. So we're not gonna create any commands in this episode. We're just setting up the bot. And the next episode, we're gonna go through cogs, and then we're gonna create, uh, start creating commands. So, and then we need to do client run, and we need our token, which is what we have right here down at the bot. Copy this token here. Go back to Sublime Text, and I'm gonna paste this right here which I will do in a moment because I'm going to be adding a little bit more code, so I don't want to do a lot of editing, so I'm going to leave that there for now. Um, we're going to paste in the token bit so I can blur it out. Um, yeah, okay, so if we go down here, if we should have a login, which is a core routine, meaning that you have to await it. 
Uh, I, I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to click that. Um, we will use login because uh, we don't want to await that, so we'll just use run, which should be here somewhere. There it is. Okay, args and quags, which you can just pass in the arguments where the first argument is the token. So, you it doesn't really say this, but you can use start or coroutine or connect plus login, blah, blah, blah. We don't really need any of these. We don't really need to know all of these. We just need to know that simply the first argument as a token will work. So, all right. Um, next thing, what we need to do is because all of this is a discord.py is async. What we need to do is do async def on ready. Um, on ready is basically the event for being ready. So the on ready event, which you really you already know from Discord.js probably. So, um, so def on ready, which is going to pass itself because this is in a class, and we're going to need to do go ahead and say print bot is ready. This is all you have to do. Now your bot will be ready. So, um, normally if you have bot equals command start bot, right, like so, right. You know, normally, I forgot to add a dot here, I just realized. So, um, normally, if you have that, uh, people, I'm pretty sure you would do bot.event async def on ready, right? And um, do this, like so. But because we already are inheriting the class, um, basically, we already know, we, basically, the, the, our. our Bot is smart. Our code here is smart enough to know that it is from the bot already because we're inheriting from it. So, yeah, pretty cool. So, um, with that out of the way, uh, now if we start our bot, it, we won't start whatsoever because we forgot to place on our token. Token. So, paste, token pasted. I think I accidentally added an extra. Yeah, there you go. Uh, there you go. Paste it in our token. If we do, uh, if we build it, we should, we, we just run the code, and we should see in our console here, bot is ready. There you go. And if we go over to Discord, our bot is indeed turned online. So there you go. This is the first step to make your Discord dot pi, this Discord dot pi bot, Discord bot. Yeah, anyways, uh, so hope you guys enjoyed this first episode. If you did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. If you're new to the channel, it'll really help me out. And uh, with that out of the way, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode where we will be covering cards.